Hello and welcome back to Teaching and Lifestyle in China as a Foreigner. On today's episode, uh, I went to class yesterday. I went to school yesterday actually. And uh, I saw a teacher teaching the kids African drums, how to play it. I was amazed because if you're in China, you get to understand this kind of feeling that Chinese people do not like anything African. Anything that is African, Chinese people do not pay much attention to. Because in Chinese, on say Feijo or Fei, it means where there is nothing, where there is poverty. Fei, that's, that's what it means. But when you say may, may go like America, where there is prosperity, where there is life, where there is riches, that's how they see it. I don't blame them though, because that is what their CCTV show them every evening. Yes, so you can blame them. Most of them understand. Most of them who have traveled outside of the country understand how it works. They even know that not all black people are from Africa. But whether Africa or no Africa, we're still proud that we're Africans. You get it? Yes. So there's not an interracial video or something to accuse anybody. But I'm just amazed by the fact that they don't like things from Africa. But they are teaching the kids African drums. So I spoke to the teacher this afternoon. I'm off to school. I spoke to the teacher this afternoon that uh, will there be that section again? Are they going to be teaching the kids drums, African drums today? And she said yes. So uh, I just wanted to do this before I enter the school so that you get to understand what they are teaching their kids. It's amazing. It's amazing. And back in Africa, I think when we were young in primary school, we used to have this uh, uh, cultural studies, something, something, I've forgotten the course, that we used to teach African stuff like drums, like drama and stuff. But I don't know if it's still in Africa though, but if we've stopped doing that, Chinese people are still doing it. And it's not for them. It's their culture. One thing you should know about Chinese people is that they are duplicates. They take stuff and then make it their own. Trust me. If you come and then you listen to the kind of uh, 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 how what they did with the song uh, Zamena Mena eh, eh. Oh my God, you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. So we're going to check it out, and uh, you see how the kids are enjoying the drums. Let's keep it locked. Let's move. This is awesome. So wherever you are as an African person, don't forget to root because they're still doing everything from Africa as it goes. Shiwama! Yeah. Okay, let's go. Africa, this drum is called Jemba. It's a rope turned covered globet drum played with our bare hands, originally from West Africa. It sold for $80, that's 554 renminbi. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to share and leave a comment. Teaching and lifestyle in China is here to stay. Keep it locked up.